everyone, this is Gina. Today I wanted to show you how to make a bracelet with super duos. This is a really easy design, very quick moving. Somebody had requested that I make some tutorials with super duos and I haven't done that on this channel yet. So I have gone ahead and made a couple and here so that you can see a couple different color combinations. This one is um, matte Apollo turquoise and this one is saturated purple and it's a combination of super duos and two by three crystals and seed beads and they turn out really pretty. Now during this tutorial I get really close so you see the thread quite a bit. This is 4k um, video plus my camera really magnifies so you see the thread quite a bit but in the to the naked eye it's really pretty and you do not see the thread so much so don't worry as you see that in the video it it doesn't look that way and I backed off quite a bit here so that you can see that they look really pretty they have kind of a lace look the units with the crystals kind of recede whereas the super duo units raise a little and it is really pretty I'm going to put this one on so you can see what it looks like on the wrist. I used a fold over clasp on this. You can use any clasping you would like. Let me get this open so I can actually do this and show you what it looks like on the wrist. And then we'll go ahead and look at the materialist and get started. And it really, it's a dainty bracelet. It's not tiny tiny but it's not bold by any means very easy to wear every day or either casual or dressed up and you can make it even more casual with the colors that you choose or more dressy there's lots of colors on my website I have some super duos and three different listings that you can choose a bunch of different colors and make a lot of really pretty combinations so let's go ahead and look and see what it takes to make this particular project. Okay, for this particular project, we're going to be using Super Duos, of course. And one of these little 2.5 inch bottles is, it's about eight to nine grams. That's more than enough for this project. So you'll want some Super Duos. And I have introduced them to my website. So, I have three listings that have several different colors in those listings of Super Duos. So if you'd like to get some, if you don't have some, or you like the color I'm using or whatever, you can go check that out. So Super Duos, and I am using saturated purple. Then you're going to need some seed beads. I'm using an 8 and 11 -0. And this is Toho Galvanized Permanent Finish Starlight in both the 80 and the 110. I am also going to be using some 2x3 crystals, and this is, um, I believe, raspberry. I think that's what I have it listed under. And I have those, of course, too, in all different colors, so you can pick out your favorite color and make a nice little combination of Super Duo and crystals. And um, whatever color seed beads you want. I am going to use a clasp for this, of course, and I'm going to use a little fold over clasp, get you in close. I've used these a couple of times. I have these on my website also, and I'm going to go ahead and use one in the gold tone on this particular project. You can also use a toggle. I used a toggle on this one, and um, it's just, you're going to have to make a little bit more length if you use a a smaller toggle like this. It just depends on your size of toggle um, because the fold over clasp is an inch in um, size. It will add an inch to your bracelet. So you'll have to just adjust according to the clasping you choose, but you can choose any clasping you would like. And then I'm going to be using some six pound fire line. You can use eight or 10 pound nano fill also. And then I'm going to be using a size 12 beading needle. You may also want to have a ruler handy. So let's go ahead and thread our needles 
and you want to put onto your needle about four to five feet of thread and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm going to start this project by separating my clasp here. So on these fold over clasps, you can just open one end and you can take it off and that way you can set the rest of the clasping aside and you can just work with this little piece here. Now you want to make sure the top of your bracelet is where the domed part of it is on a fold over clasp and then just sew up through the loop and you can just sew up through the loop with any clasping you want even though you're not using a fold over clasp um, you can still just follow exactly what I'm doing and go go up through the loop on whatever clasping you're using um, you're going to need to extend your fire line on this particular project too. So like I said, I'm starting with four to five feet, but you will need to extend your fire line and I will have a video link in the description box beneath the video player if you don't know how to do that. And that will show you how. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to get started. We're going to start with the clasping. So I have my little clasp here. Have half of your clasp ready and if you're using a toggle have the round part ready. We're going to pick up onto our needle two 8 seed beads then we're going to pick up a super duo and then we're going to pick up an 8 and a super duo. So this is what you should have just like this and let me re rearrange a little bit and get you in a little closer and just bring this down to the end of your thread. You don't have to leave a long tail, but you need enough to tie a knot and hold on to. Then you're going to go back through the beads on the tail side and then through all the rest of them, just like this. Hold on to the tail and push your needle through, pull your thread through, and then you're just going to grab your working thread and your tail thread, just like this, and pull them together so that it draws your beads together like this. Then we're going to take the tail and the working thread and we're going to cross the working thread over the tail and then we are going to put the tail through the loop that results from crossing the threads twice. And then we're just going to pull a little knot down between these beads. And this is what you should have, just like this. Now we're going to sew back through all of these beads until we come up to this 8 on this side. So let me get you in a little closer and we're right here where our knot is. We're going to go up through the super duo here, through the 8 the super duo, and then just through one of these 8-0s on the top here and exit. So we're splitting these two 8-0s like this. Let me get that tail out of the way. I apologize for my fingernails. I haven't had a chance to go in and get them done, so I know they look terrible. I'm sorry. And we are now going to pick up an 8-0 seed bead and drop it down to the 8-0s we split in half here. And then we are going to pick up our clasp and we're going to go through the loop. And like I said, if you're using a fold over, you want to make sure the domed part is up. And we're just going to go through this clasp. And let me re rearrange everything here and bring this all together. Now that I'm through the clasp, I'm going to go back through trying to arrange here. Sorry guys. I'm going to go back through the 8 and then I'm going to go into the 8 on the other side here. And I'll just hold on to my little piece, get my tail out of the way, and pull all this down. And 
and this is what you should have. I'm just flipping it over so that my clasp is in the right direction and I know which side I want to be the top of my piece. So now I'm coming out of this 8 and I'm going to go through the super duo where the tail is and we're going to stay in the beads that we are in the holes in the super duos that we originally went through and pull this through and this is what it looks like. Now we're going to sew through this again twice coming up into the clasping to secure the clasping. So I'll show you once and then we'll do it once off camera. So we're going to go into this 8 we're going to go into the super duo and the 8 above the super duo here then we'll go into the super duo right beneath the clasping and also into the clasp. And then back down into the 8 the 8 on the other side, and the Super Duo. So you can take all three of them at once. And then I'm just going to go back into this 8 -o. Now you're going to do, the, do that one more time, just sew all the way up around and go through your clasping and then work your way back down and come through the 8 -0. And we'll be right back. Okay, so now I have secured my clasping and I am going to just cut down this tail a little bit. And then I'm going to get my lighter and burn it down a little bit just so that... Just roll that in a little bit, just to keep it out of my way right now. And we're going to start our stitch. This is just right angle weave is what we're going to do. We're going to do it in a particular order, um, switching out between super duos and crystals. So I'm pointing at the super duos and crystals and you can't see that because I'm too close. Anyway, we're going to do super duos and crystals and we're going to need eight O's. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up first a super duo. We're coming out of this eight O here. Pick up a super duo, then pick up an eight O and pick up a super, super duo. And then we're just going to go back into the opposite side of the 8 we're coming out of right here. So we're just going to pull this through just like this. Now we're going to sew back through this because it's loose and wobbly and not very neat. So we're going to go from the 8 back into the super duo and then into the 8 in the middle and I'm just holding on to my piece between my thumb and my finger so that I can pull and get a little tension as I come through. Then I'm going to go back up into the Super Duo. We're only going to be working in the holes that we originally started with. We're not going to be going through the outside holes at all. So as we sew back through, we're sewing through the original holes. And it's always a good idea to check and make sure as you pick them up that both holes are unblocked because we will eventually need that other hole. So I'm coming through this 8 -o. Now I'm going to come back down into this Super Duo and then back into the 8 -o. So I just sewed around securing that stitch. Now I have done two sets of Super Duos with 8 in between. Now I'm going to do a set with crystals. So we'll do two Super Duo sets, then a crystal set, then two Super Duo sets through the entire bracelet. So what we're going to do instead of picking up a Super Duo is we're going to pick up a crystal and then an 8 and a crystal. Just like this. And then we're going to go into the opposite side of the 8 again. Pull these down and then sew back through them. So I'll go into this crystal, 8 crystal, oh come here little hole, and then back into the 8 and I'm all the way around. So now I have to sew back down to this 8 to do my next unit. So I have to go through this crystal, and then through the 8 just like that. So now I've done my single set of 
crystals. So I'm going to go back to doing super duos. I'm coming out of the 8 I'm going to pick up a super duo, an 8 and a super duo, and check my holes here, and then go into the opposite side of the 8 I'm coming out of. Pull these down, and then sew back around them. Just to secure them, this will also, this will make things tight and neat and also give your bracelet some strength. If you do not sew back around them, it'll break, first thing. Second thing is you're just going to have a really hard time having a nice, neat tension on this. And then we're going to, be, we're coming, we've gone all the way around, coming out of the 8 we have to go down into the Super Duo and then into the 8 again. So halfway around so that we are in position to do another unit. Now we've done one Super Duo unit. So we need to do another. Pick up a Super Duo, an 8 and a Super Duo. And go into the opposite side of the 8 from which you're coming out. Pull these down and sew all the way around again. And I hold on to my beads because it keeps them in the right place and it allows me to give a little tug at the end without pulling my whole piece into oblivion and I can establish my tension well that way. Now I'm going to, I'm all the way around, I'm going to sew back up into the 8 -o. So I need to go into here and then into the 8 <clears throat> And now that I've done two sets of super duels, I will do a set of crystals. So I'll pick up a crystal, an 8 and a crystal. And go back into the 8 on the opposite side. And then I'm just going to turn it over so I can get to it a little better and sew back through it. Okay, so I'm all the way around. Now I need to sew down into the 8 -o. And now that I've done the crystals, I will repeat my two units of super duos. And that is how you're going to do the entire length of this bracelet. Same stitch, you're just going to do two sets of super duos, one set of crystal, two sets of super duos, one set of crystals and you're going to continue until you have what will be 13 sets of double super duos. So I'm counting one, two, three, four, like that. And I will have 13. You want to stop on the first set of your last set of super duos right here because the second set we're going to do just a little differently to put the clasping on but first we need to talk about length with this particular design we're going to get a lot of shrinkage when we do our embellishments coming through the second holes of the super duos so you want to make this you want to measure from the end of your clasping no matter what clasping it is measure from the very end of it and make your length the length that you want your bracelet to be. So when I add, it's actually going to be a little over. It's going to be about seven and a quarter, which is fine. By the time I put my clasping on, I'm going to have about eight inches and that's okay because as we go through, we're going to lose uh, about three quarters of an inch. So you want to make your bracelet right now the length that you want to end up with or actually a little bit over. After you put the last set on, it's going to be just a little bit over that length. So here I'm, I've gone right at seven inches and I'm going to add one more little set and I'll be just slightly over seven. That works perfectly. So I will end up with about a seven, seven and a quarter inch bracelet, I'm hoping. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to put on our clasping. So we need to put on our very last set of doubles, super duos on the end here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to this time pick up a super duo, two eightos, and a super duo, just like this. Let's get you in closer. Bring these down. <clears throat> And then go back into the opposite side of the 8 from which your thread is coming out of. Just like this. Now as we sew back through this, we're going to do a little bit differently. We're going to go up through the Super Duo and the 8 right here. And we're just going to exit. Then we're going to pick up two 8 -0s. We're picking up two eightos this time to extend our clasping out a little bit on this end if we have a toggle clasp. If you don't have a toggle clasp and you're using a, um, a fold over clasp, you don't have to do that. So I'm only going to pick up one, but if you're using a toggle, you need to pick up two. Then I'm going to drop this down and I'm going to go through my clasping. So again, I'm going to take off the little end here and set the middle part aside, close this up, and then make sure I'm going through it the proper direction. So I'm going to go up through the loop here and drop it down to my piece, go back through this 8-0 here and then into the 8 and Super Dual on the other side from which I started. Right there. And I'm going to hold on to it all so it doesn't get all over the place. And I'm just going to pull this down into position and make sure the dome of my clasp is in the right way. And then I am going to go back through this 8 right here that I am originally attaching to right in the middle. Now we're going to sew up through this again and then we will go off camera and sew up through it one more time. So I'm coming out of this 8-0. I'm going to go up through this super duo, the 8 above it, and then the 8 below the clasping here. And then up. Okay, come on. <laughs> I don't know why I can't do that. And then into the clasp just like this. And then I am going to go back down into the 8 underneath the clasping, into the 8 above the Super Duo, and into the Super Duo right here. And then into the 8 in the middle of the Super Duos. Do that one more time just once or twice. Actually, do it twice, and we'll be back. Okay, so I've gone through it once, and I the second time around, I want to exit and start my embellishment, so I want to show you how to do that. So I've gone through it once to um, secure it. Now I'm coming back through this 8-0 in the middle here. I'm going to come up through the Super Duo here, the 8-0, just like I showed you before, into the 8 beneath the clasping and through the clasp and then into the 8 again and then into the 8 beneath it and I want you to exit that 8 right there. Don't go into the hole of the Super Duo. Just exit. And then pull your needle and your thread through. <clears throat> and now I want you to pick up two 11 -0 seed beads on your needle. So we're done with the 8 -0s. Let's switch to 11 -0s. And we are now coming out of this 8 -0 here. We are going to go into the second hole of the Super Duo. So we're going to go here. And then we're also going to go through the whole second hole of the Super Duo beneath it. Just like this. And now that we're coming out of that, we are going to pick up two more 11 -0 seed beads onto our needle. I'm going to get you a little closer so you can see. I want to kind of 
Make sure that those 11 O's lay nicely on top of that Super Duo there, just like that, and then pick up two more Super Duos. And, excuse me, two more 11 O's. And then we're going to go from the second hole of this Super Duo here into the crystal, just like this, with two 11 O's on our thread. And pull this down. Now you want to get a little tension on that, and then pick up two more 11 O's and go through both the Super Duos in the next sit, double set of Super Duos, like this. Pull these two 11 O's down nice and tightly and the set that you just put on will not be tight but the set that you put on previously should be tight. So the set and this set should be nice and tight. And then we're going to pick up two more 11 0 seed beads. And we're going to go from the second Super Duo. So you're going to go through both Super Duos every time. Pick up two 11 0s and go into the crystal. Pull it down nice and tight. And you want them to kind of puff up towards you because they'll want to sink down the opposite direction so you'll want them to puff up towards you. I want to make sure I'm holding this the proper way. Let's see if I've got everything right. Yes. And so as you're working through this you will start to get a little bit of a puff of the Super Duos and you can go underneath and just pop them up if they're going the opposite direction. But we need to get a little bit further along before you actually see that happening well. Now we're going to pick up two more 11 O's from the crystal into both Super Duos. Pull this tight so that your previous sets are nice and tight. And I'm just going to push that down that way. When we do the other side coming up is when we'll get the the real puff and we'll have to make sure that we have it puffing up towards us and not the opposite direction. And then we're going to pick up two more 11 O's and we're just going to continue the entire length of the bracelet going through both Super Duos and then two 11 O's into the crystal, two 11 O's into both Super Duos. And we'll just do that the entire length, making sure as you do this that you pull tension nicely. And we're just going to continue the entire length of the bracelet. When I get to the last unit, I will come back and show you how we will travel around to the other side. So this is what you should have so far. Okay, so I have done my embellishment all the way to the end. I'm coming out of my last set of Super Duos here. And as you can see, it draws everything together. Looks kind of strange right at this point, and that's okay. Just make sure that all your stitches on this side are nice and tight. Give a little pull. Make sure everything looks good. And then pick up two 11 O's onto your needle. Let's get down here. I'm coming out of my last set of Super Duos here. I've got two 11 O's on my needle. I am going to go up into this 8 O underneath my clasping here. and I'm just going to come out of it. Now you can sew up into your clasping again if you'd like, but it has enough thread through it, so I'm just going to go into this 8-0 here, and then I'm going to cross over and go into the 8-0 on the other side, making sure, again, that everything is nice and tight, and these little 11 O's are laying right on top of that Super Duo, and then I'm going to pull my needle through this side. Your thread should pop down in between those beads and not be seen. So just give it a nice little tug and then pick up two more 11 O seed beads and then go down into both of the Super Duos on this side. And pull your thread through. Whoops. There we go. Now I'm just going to pop this one up. The two and units are kind of flat. They don't pop up much. But as we do this, we now want to make sure <clears throat> that our clasping is on the right side so we know that 
we're going to get our puff of our beads up towards the, the top of the bracelet. So now this is the top of my bracelet. I'm just going to start working down it. So I'm going to pick up two 11 0 seed beads and I'm going to go down into the crystal. Just like this. Let me back off just a little. Move my piece a little bit here and pull this down. Now, like I said, the very end ones are a little bit flat because of the 8L coming out, and that's fine. The next units will start to puff up a little bit as you pull this all together nice and tight. We're going to pick up two 11 0 seed beads, and then we're going to go into both the Super Duos in the next set and pull this nice and tight, and then make sure you go underneath and push them up so that the 8 kind of pops up a little bit. And then pick up two 11 O's and go into the next crystal. Pull your thread through and tighten it up. And just continue the entire length like you did on the other side. Two 11 O's and then into the Super Duos, two 11 O's into the crystal, and so on. And as I said, just make sure that your unit pops up towards the top and you'll see that your little Ada seed bead will kind of pop up a little bit. Just like that, it will be more prominent. It won't be a huge dome, but it does dome up a little bit. So let's continue the entire length doing the embellishment and when we get to the end, I will show you how to end up around your clasping. Now that I've done a couple units, I want you to see what starts to happen. The units with the crystals start to kind of draw down and the super duos start to draw up somewhat, just like this. And so you get like this recessed look of the crystals in between the sets of the super duos, like that. So if you don't have enough tension, it's not gonna look like this. So you want to make sure that you're getting really nice tension. And that's what that should look like. Okay, continue. Okay, so as you can see, I have gone the entire length. And now you can see that if you look on the other side, how there is an indentation and on the top, there's a little dome, and it makes this really pretty lacy look with the crystals down in between. It's just really pretty. So now I'm coming out of my last unit. And like I said, the first and last unit are a little flat, so don't be, you know, worried about that too much. And then once you've come through, both of your super duos on this side, pick up two 11 0 seed beads, and then go up underneath the 8 seed bead above the Super Duo here. So, I've got to get in there. <laughs> it won't let me in. So, you have to kind of go towards the top of the bead. So, you, you have to angle your needle and go towards the top of the bead and then pull these two 11 O's down. And then I'm going to make sure that it doesn't make it inclined towards the bottom here. I want it to kind of stay flat or puffed up a little bit towards the top, this last unit. And I want to get my tension, make sure that it's nice and tight. And then I'm going to cross over and go into the 8 on the other side. And the angles are just funny. So you have to go kind of towards the outside and top of the bead, kind of at an angle this way and bring it through. Down around and then into the two 11 O's here. And pull your thread through. I have a little knot in my thread. Let me fix that because it's a little slip knot with my, the thread coming out of my needle and the working thread and it's driving me nuts. There we go. All right, so now I'm coming out of these two 11 O's here. 
I'm going to tug, make sure everything looks good, and right between this 11-0 and this Super Dual, I'm going to put my needle underneath, and I'm going to create a loop in my thread, and I'm going to make sure as I pull, as I put my needle through the loop, and then pull, that this knot that I'm creating goes down between this 11-0 and Super Dual, so you can't see it. And then I'm going to go into both the Super Duos if I can. Sometimes it's a little difficult to get back through both of them. So going through both of them here, pull my thread through, and then I'm going to tie another knot between the 11-0 and the Super Duo here. So I'm just going to put my needle underneath there, create a loop, go through the loop, and pull a knot down on that thread bridge. And then I'm going to go into these two 11 O's and the crystal and then go up into the two 11 O's on this side of the crystal and everything's at a funny angle now so you can get in the beads they're not thread tight it's just that they're at funny angles so you just have to kinda manipulate your way through there and then I'm going to tie another knot right here between the 11-0 and Super Duo again right here and then I'm going to try to go through both of these Super Duos like I said it's can be hard because of the angles so I'm through both of those and now I'm just going to cut my thread and burn it down oops and make beads fly across the room because you know my vacuum cleaner probably has a fortune of beads in it okay now I'm going to burn this little tag down just like that and I'm going to put my clasp together sure everything is as it should be there these last two little units um, like I said they're a little flatter just kind of manipulate them and make them look good and get my clasping so it's not twisted here and I'm going to grab the round portion of my clasp I'm going to open this side and I'm going to put the round portion on and then I'm going to see if it actually fits me. So you get a ton of shrinkage. Now look, even though I went an inch, a whole inch, it's perfect fit. So you want to make sure that you go all the way to the length you want and then you have at least an inch size of clasping otherwise you need to give yourself even more length so you'll just have to lay it all out and measure it and make sure because you get a full inch of shrinkage on this and now I have my clasp clasped and let's see it's kind of dark in here tonight and for some reason I get these nice little dark lines in, in my camera I, I just don't get it but anyway um, that's what this looks like there's the clasping squish up you and I'm gonna get you in even closer so you can see how pretty it is it just turns out really pretty it just looks really lacy it's very dainty and nice it's not tiny tiny but it's not big and bold either it's just about the right size and um, you can wear it casual or dressy it's really pretty and depending upon the beads that you choose like with this one well come here I used uh, um, I can't remember what it's called but it's half turquoise um, I'm not sure I can't remember but you'll see it in the store if you go look and this is really pretty I used bronze and then I used a sunshine um, crystal 
a 2x3 sunshine crystal and I used bronze seed beads and then I used the turquoise with the gold through it and um, I'll show this in the intro and I'll tell you what the name of them are I have to go look so I think it's matte turquoise Apollo I think and um, I think it's just really pretty and this one is a little bit too small for me or I'd put it on this is where I learned that the shrinkage because I, I actually left myself some room and the shrinkage was such that I still it was still too short so it's a really pretty bracelet I'll have to give it to someone smaller than me and we'll just have to go from there but anyway I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you try it have a good day bye bye mm -hmm.